Okay guys, this is a test of Oculus Quest Link using the official Link cable with VTOL VR. Uh, I am running through uh, some new scenes. I have launched the app using Steam VR instead of Oculus VR. I tried last week, I didn't post this video, but uh, I tried running with Oculus VR and even though the performance indicated it was good it, and with plenty of headroom and solid frame rate, it just I experienced too much judder moving my head on an empty carrier just it it wasn't uh solid for an average uh player so we're giving this a shot I check chatted with BD he suggested trying it with Steam VR so we're going to do that um I've got the debug tool up here looks like we have plenty of performance headroom frame rate is solid um, so at least here in the lobby, this looks really good and with, uh, the aircraft outside there, um, just going to change the, uh, setting to show Oculus link just to see what we've got here in case this is helpful for anyone debugging. Um, you know, looking at frame latency is pretty green here. All right, uh, so let's reset that and then uh, we'll head back into the next scene here. So I'm going to go ahead and start game. All righty. So again, in here, really smooth, plenty of headroom, no issues whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and uh, let's just check my settings here. Last time. Uh, my bind for my rudder pedals didn't work. So I'm sliding my pedals here and it's not showing. So I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, I'm moving the axis rudder and it's not connecting. So we're gonna have to deal with that separately here. That's some other issue. So for now, I'm going to turn back on the thumb controlled rudder just so I can still do a test flight. Okay, we'll select my pilot. Uh, you know, sure, we'll select the F-45A. And it's loading and I'm just going to do one of the basic free flight missions here. It's a basic free flight on the island map. Nothing really is going to load here. No carrier, just the carrier, no enemies. Uh, so it should not tax anything. So we'll give this a shot here. Oh, and again, while we're in the in here, we'll check the Oculus Link uh, settings. So, you know, I mean, again, really smooth here. Not experiencing any jitter, judder. All right. So we'll go into the. Uh, now we're in the hangar. Again, the hangar looks real good. Really smooth. So, you know, we're just going to launch with a, a regular launch and boom. So let's see what we get here. All right. So now we're in the uh, new loading screen area. Recenter here. And again, I'm going to check the uh, just the standard Oculus performance summary here. And again, it looks good. You know, good performance headroom. I mean, I can check latency too. See what latency looks like here. So, there we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and set that back and then we'll go ahead and load our sim here. Again, plenty of performance headroom here. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this is smooth, guys. 
This is super smooth. Launching it last week with Oculus instead of Steam VR, the Oculus SDK, it was juddery. This is super smooth. Look, I've got tons of headroom here. Now again, I did update my um, my uh, computer and my uh, or my CPU and my um, graphics card. So I am running a very high end PC now, where before I wasn't. I'm also running this with Steam VR, and this looks really smooth, infinitely playable. Um, we'll take off and do a quick flight. I haven't flown in a long time, but real quick, let me just change the, um, let's just change and check the, this is the latency timing. Let's see, I mean, again, yeah, you know, no real change here. This is smooth as heck. Um, go ahead and check the Oculus Link stats here. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is really, really smooth. So uh, why don't we actually try to do a takeoff? I maybe need to te test with another uh, with another uh, aircraft, but I know this one's pretty complicated. So let's see if we can get this thing going. I'm kind of sad I don't have my rudder pedals, but we'll take care of that later. Let's see if we also comes will work. Okay, so I did see some kind of weird clip there, but otherwise, I mean, nothing, nothing. This is really solid here. I know, I gotta get rid of that. I still have that enabled for testing. Okay, we'll lower our wings here. Oops, there we go. Okay, I had a little judder there when I turned quickly to look at it. And I didn't see what happened with performance, but I mean, yeah, this is good. This is real good, okay. Okay, so I've got my rudder working with my left thumbstick. Yeah, it's not working with those. All right. Go ahead and turn off our APU. Our canopy, canopy is closed. I guess I got to hold the parking brake down. And uh, tower, ready for takeoff. Okay, so I know my mic's getting picked up because you all are hearing me. But it could be I have to do some other settings with setting the default communications device. Um, no, I'll have to mess with that. But yeah, it's definitely not picking up my uh, audio here. Um, so we can go to comms and we'll just ask our tower to allow us to take off. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so it thinks I want to take off. It doesn't realize I want to take off on the aircraft. So maybe, oh, I think there was a bug reported that said if you were on the elevator, it didn't think you were on the right tower. Okay, so let's see if I can get make it all the way around there. Oh, I'm so used to rudder pedals. <laughs> Can't do this very well here. Okay, let's lower our launch bar. Can't remember how forgiving this is. There we go. All right. Well, there's not much to check. We'll turn on our lights though, so everybody can see us. All right. Here we go. Whoa! Awesome. Gear up. Yeah, this is infinitely playable, guys. Okay, well, I don't know why I'm getting altitude, but... This is definitely very playable. Holy mackerel. Beautiful. Smooth as butter on Oculus Link. Let's do... Very nice, very smooth. Boy, I have a lot of catching up to do with this game. 
This is fantastic. Uh, we can take a quick flight through the city, see how that does with performance, and then uh, see if we can bring it in for a landing. Okay, and you'll notice I do not have S cam on right now, so let's see if we can turn that on and let me see if I can switch to my S cam split mirror. There we go, kind of. Something like that, huh? Not quite as good as it used to be. I'll fix that in future videos, guys. So yeah, performance headroom percentage dropped when I turned on S cam, but again, okay, there was a little bit of judder there, but still very playable. Right in the middle of the city here. Yeah, yeah again, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling real good about this. This is playable. This is awesome. Okay. Now I don't have any particle effects or anything going on here. Um, but yeah, I, I think this is going to be playable guys. I think I'm going to get back into the, into flying some missions here. Let's see if I can, I'm rusty. See if I can even, uh, land this thing now. That was interesting, that performance headroom just like dipped real low as I was reducing. I don't know what happened there. While we're at it, we'll check latency. Okay, so yeah, a little high there. Ooh, especially maybe with the, uh, with the spectator cam going. We will see. And then uh, we can check the Oculus link. I'm not sure why my S cam, like the uh, aircraft, is on the right side of the screen. On that screen, we'll have to see. All right, so we'll see if we can slow this bad boy down a bit. It's a very, a very poor pattern here. Okay, turning base. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see through this uh, performance window. Yeah, a note. Yeah, I'm really not using any rudder. Oh. Got to reconnect my, get my rudder pedals working. All right, hook down. That would be a good thing to do. Not too far right. Go. A little low, according to the ball there. Hey, that's great. The landing assist on the right. I don't think I played in a while since that's been added. Uh, which, I'd love to know which wire I caught. Hook up, here we go. And we did it, guys. I gotta say, this initial report is super uh, exciting. I'm gonna be able to play this game again. Oh, okay, I just had a weird judder there. I don't know what happened there. I must have moved too fast, but overall, this is playable. This is awesome. I'm excited. So hopefully you'll see me back in the cockpit a bit more. Uh, I've been splitting my time between this DCS and a few other things. And, you know, with the quarantine going on, uh, I've been doing a lot of work still, luckily for me. So, but hopefully you'll, I'll be able to do a, a video or two more. Uh, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in. And, uh, this is Firecat signing off.